for certified most accurate for zone weather with meteorologist Jeanette Kaye. It'll be a nice weekend for some outdoor activities. Oh yes, perfect weekend. Now it's going to get a little toasty during the day, like I would say after 3, 4, up until 6 in the evening with temperatures the in the low 90s. Yeah, it's but it's a dry heat, ah, yes. no it's humidity. <laughs> and then once the sun goes down, it's going to feel like falling. But lots of, uh, apparently lots of mosquitoes too. They got uh, Diana yesterday. Oh, oh really? They got yeah. swarmed. Oh, it was awful. No. All right, well, here's the forecast for Jazz Alive. Lots of sunshine today. We're going to keep that sunshine through 7 p.m. 93 at 4 p.m. when the Music Fest begins. But notice later on in the evening, temperatures will drop after the sun goes down. Temperatures will be in the lower 80s. And then by 11 o'clock this evening, heading home mid-70s. Uh, we also have the uh, Skylight Balloon Fest. This is in Selma. This, too, kicks off today. By 6 o'clock this evening there, 91 north wind around 10 miles an hour, 8 o'clock in the evening, 81 tomorrow morning, gorgeous, mid 60s, and then tomorrow in the afternoon, topping out in the low 90s. Temperatures right now fall like 50s and 60s, even cooler this morning because of the drier air that continues to move south. In the eastern zone, that's where it's a lot cooler compared to yesterday morning. Heaviest rainfall from Helene is across the southeast north of Florida. Now, Helene made landfall just after 11 o'clock last evening near Perry, Florida, 11 p.m. Florida time, Eastern time. It's now a tropical storm. It's centered over northern Georgia. Atlanta really feeling the brunt of this with a very heavy rain and the tropical storm force winds. The rain is also lifting farther north into the Ohio Valley and the Mid-Atlantic. There's a tropical storm warning, flash flood warning across portions of northern and central Florida. That is a tornado watch for portions of the Carolinas, including northern Georgia. Um, the heaviest rain right over Atlanta, including portions of the Carolinas is there cleanup day in Florida. It's going to be pretty steamy there, but certainly drier. Here's the forecast track. It's going to move off towards the northwest, and this is where the storm will fizzle out right over the Tennessee Valley. But the heavy rains continue in portions of the southeast through at least uh, tonight. Elsewhere in the Atlantic, well, this is what will likely become Joyce. Watching this area of low pressure over the central Atlantic, it looks like that may be a fish storm not coming towards the U.S. This is Hurricane uh, Isaac, Category 1 hurricane across the northern Atlantic. That's moving to the east. This is an area of concern for us because we may have to watch something that comes into the southwestern Gulf of Mexico. If this verifies, it'll come in mid to late next week. Could see some rain from that by next weekend. Hard to say where it goes after there if it does develop, but we'll definitely have to watch that. Very pleasant here this morning. We'll have temperatures in the 60s until 8, and then notice how it warms up. Low 80s at 11. We'll be in the mid 80s at noon. This afternoon, it's going to climb to about 93 degrees. Again, it's a dry heat. 93 as well in the west Zone 91 in the Hill Country, 92 in the Eastern Zone. A little hotter this week under early next week, 94, 95. Late next week, that humidity slowly increases and we could see some rain by next weekend. Here's the extended forecast for the other three zones. You can get this online at news4s8.com. Just click on the weather tab.